Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with another recent reads video. It's been quite a while since I did a recent reads. I think back in March I did it. Um, and then I got into vlogging a little bit. We got sick a lot. Life just got busy. Um, I've, I've kind of been in a reading slump lately. May was a really good reading month because I was participating in the Escape the Readathon, readathon which was a ton of fun and really motivating to read a lot, but kind of slumpy now. And I've just been in the mood for rereads and I just haven't had the time or the motivation or the health to film. So I'm kind of going to play catch up. I've got my computer here, so I'll be looking over here quite a bit. Um, I'm just going to talk about some random books that I've read since my last recent reads. I'm not going to talk about every single one, just ones that I want to highlight because I don't want to make like 30 videos or an hour long video. So the first few books I'm going to talk about are the uh, Pines Trilogy by Blake Crouch. I read all three of these in May. I read Pines and immediately the next day I had to pick up the second one, which is Wayward and then The Last Town. These were very fast, fun and entertaining reads. Like I had to keep going. They were really like propulsive. The first book is about an FBI agent. He is assigned um, to go and look for other agents who are missing. But when we meet him, he is waking up in a town that he doesn't know how he got there. He's injured and the town is Wayward Pines and things are not as they seem. So I don't want to say much else. If you like fast paced thriller, like sci-fi type things, this, this is really good. Um, I think it's, I don't even know how, to, like if you like the X-Files, I mean, like stuff like that, like weird sci-fi stuff, like Fox shows, <laughs> I feel like you would like this series. I actually was really surprised with how much I liked it, um, but I definitely recommend. This year I've reread, these are not in any proper order, uh, Gideon, Harrow, and Nona. I just finished rereading Nona. Gideon the Ninth is definitely one of my favorite books of all time, if not the favorite book of all time. I talk about this series a lot, so I'm not going to say much else, but I really loved my reread. This is only my second time reading Nona, so that was really fun because it's almost like a new experience. Another reread that I did was Christine by Stephen King. I listened to the audiobook. Highly recommend the audiobook. And this is one that first time I read it, I gave it five stars. I don't really do star ratings anymore, but I would give it five stars if I still did star ratings. Um, this one is a lot of fun. It's about a kid who finds a 1958 Plymouth Fury, he buys it, becomes obsessed with it. Is there something evil with the car? Is it possessed? That kind of thing. It's just a lot of fun and I feel like the narrator does a really great job with the audiobook. And um, I also really thought that I would not like this at all when I first went into it because it's about a car. Like I just didn't think I would care. I think it's one of my top five top 10 Stephen King books for sure. A book that I read recently that surprised me is Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. I'm sure you've seen this all over Bookstagram, BookTok, Booktube. Uh, it's kind of taken the book internet by storm. I've talked about this in my vlogs, um, but I really wanted the beautiful edition and there was just so much hype around it and it did tick off some things that I really like in books magical school, dragons, fantasy, like uh, some romance. So I would recommend this to people who like fantasy romance and who like young adult or new adult fantasy romance. If you are strictly high fantasy adult or grim dark or no romance in your books, like don't even fall for the hype. This one's not for you, but I really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to the next one. Another book that I really liked that I read recently was I Found a Circus Tent in the Woods Behind My House by Ben Farthing. And this is exactly what the title is. First of all, I love the cover. I love the title, but essentially a man and his four-year-old son are out in the woods playing and they come across a circus tent. And of course, with a circus tent that comes out of nowhere and a horror novella, you're going to have crazy, creepy, terrifying clowns, etc. Uh, so I can't really say much else about it, but they do find themselves like trapped in the circus tent and I really enjoyed it. I talked a lot about it in a vlog, um, but it was, it was really good. I, it's like 80 pages, so a fun, quick horror novella. I also read True Grit by Charles Portis. Um, this was one that wasn't really on my radar. Like I just heard about it recently. And 
when I read it, I was kind of like, I don't understand like what the hype is. Like it's yes, it's good, but why is it a classic? Um, but it's really stuck with me. I think I read it April. I don't remember when I read it, but it's stuck with me over the past few months. Um, and essentially this is about a 12 or 14 year old girl. Her father is killed by a man he hired and trusted and she goes out to uh, revenge his death. She hires, what is he called? She hires a US Marshal to capture and kill the man who killed her father. And yeah, I, it's like one of those books where like in the moment you're like, oh, this is fine. But then like afterwards, you just can't stop thinking about it. I read 100% Match by Patrick C. Harrison the third. I almost puked <laughs> reading this book. It was so gross. This is extreme horror about a man trying to find his perfect match. And that's all I'm gonna say. It's a novella. If you like extreme horror, I recommend it. It was disgusting. Speaking of disgusting, I read Them by McKay Watson, who is here on booktube. I'm sure you guys already follow the channel, but um, this was foul. <laughs> I really like the premise though. Uh, a woman one night is like settling in for the night and then she gets like an emergency broadcast on her TV and it's something about, they're not real or they just look like us. And essentially it's almost like invasions of the body snatchers things where it's like you think you're talking to someone you know, like for example, like this guy that she's having a relationship with, but it's like not really him. And it, it was so gross. Like I had to put it down. Like this is extreme horror if I didn't say that already. Um, and I really, I think he did a great job like with the story and everything. Like it was entertaining, but like the gross parts were so gross. And I, I'm, sh I will never be the same. I read Lone Women by Victor Laval. I don't know when I read this. I feel like I might be getting into like, maybe books I've already talked about. I'm getting confused between my vlogs and my recent reads. Um, but essentially, this is about a woman in the 1800s who uh, takes up the opportunity. The government is giving away land to people if they move to, I think it's Montana. Yeah, Montana. And they homestead the land. Like, after a certain, certain amount of time, you, the land is yours. So this is, like, early 1900s. And Adelaide, shit hits the fan and she takes up this opportunity and all she has with her is this trunk with a secret like a train trunk trolley trunk like a like you pack your stuff in why can't i think of that steamer trunk that's what it is um but this turns into like a strong woman beast monster horror it was really good. I really liked it. I've never read from this author before, so I'll definitely pick up more of his stuff in the future. I did go through quite a bit of a Star Wars um, mini era this year. I read Shadows of the Sith by Adam Christopher. This essentially takes place between uh, Return of the Jedi and what is it? The Force Awakens. Um, and so we're following Luke Skywalker and Lando. I don't remember Lando's last name. Um, but in this book, I found out about Darth Noctis, which led me to a short story collection that I also read, but I think is technically not part of the canon anymore since Disney got it, but I had to read it. And if I remember, I'm gonna put up a picture of Darth Noctis because I want all the stories about this, this woman. Um, but Star Wars Dark Legends, short story collection, enjoyed it. Read through all the volumes of Star Wars Darth Vader, um, which was like four volumes, and this takes place post Revenge of the Sith. And I really enjoyed it. Uh, I like Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader. That's like my favorite. I'm a prequel girl. I grew up like, my dad likes Star Wars, so like, I grew up on the old movies like I know of like I watched them and everything um but I really like the prequels even though they're pretty cheesy but I just like the and I can just like go into the dark side you know two books that I read that aren't out yet the first one is if you are a fan of true crime it's Little Crazy Children by James Renner this comes out June 27th 
Um, this is about a crime local to me. James Renner is a investigative journalist, like true crime podcaster local to me. So that's how I heard of him was like on a local radio station years ago. He was like being interviewed or something. Um, and so I've read some of his books prior to this. This one is about the murder of Lisa Pruitt, which happened in 1990. And so, like, I feel like I kind of have a little bit of bias with his books because I know the places he's talking about, I know the people he's talking about, like, so there's maybe a little bit of bias there, but I did really like this one as well. Um, I think he's really good at giving you the facts in a way that isn't bogged down, you don't feel like you're reading a textbook, um, he's got like the history of the locations, interviews, and uh, uh, he del delves into the court reports and different interviews. It's just a really tight and concise narrative. I don't know if I say if you say narrative with a true crime novel, but if you're interested in true crime, I definitely highly recommend this one. It might piss you off because it does deal with some people who believe they're above the law because they are the law. Um, yeah, that, that, you know, boils my blood. The last book that I'm going to talk about uh, is out in the UK, but doesn't come out in the US until August 8th. And it is my contender. I believe this is my favorite book of the year. But Looking Glass Sound by Katrina Ward. I've talked about this in a vlog. I read it like during vlogging. Did I read it in May? I might have read it in May when I was vlogging a lot for Escape the Readathon. Um, but I love Katrina Ward. This is definitely um, more like her new stuff. So I feel like a lot of us were a little disappointed in Little Eve when it got republished, which would have been her most recent release before this one. That was like her first novel, I believe. It got republished because I think a lot of hype was around that last house on Needless Street and Sundial. If you liked The Last House on Needless Street and you liked Sundial but you didn't really like Little Eve or you didn't like Little Eve, I think you should still give this one a go because I'm in that boat um, and I really enjoyed this one. It's got like a book within a book. We're following a boy, Wilder. His family moves to a beach town after his dad inherits um, his uncle's beach house. And so Wilder goes there, he's gotta like kind of start all over. He makes some friends and he starts to learn about the town and missing women and rumors and a possible serial killer. And then he's like, is my uncle involved in this? And then like bad things happen. And so later as adults, we're following as Wilder is trying to write a book about what happened. I, again, love Catrion Award. I love her writing. This is one of those books where I finished it and the dots all started like connecting and I was like, wow, I, I need to read this again um, and, and look for those connections and see how she put this all together for us. I'm still getting over my cold cough, pneumonia, who knows what. Um, so lots of cuts for in this video for me to cough, but all my social media is linked down below. I've got my Instagram, my TikTok, my Goodreads is linked down below, and although I don't uh, put star ratings or anything on Goodreads, I do keep up with what I'm reading. Um, so you can see every single book that I've read there. I do post more to my Instagram, and then I do post occasionally to TikTok. Instagram will have a lot more of what I've been reading as well. I hope I can stick with recent reads videos more often moving forward. We'll see how the summer goes. Um, let me know what you've been reading lately. Let me know if you've read any of these and what you thought of them. And I will see you in my next video.